Hi, Rachel. Can you hear me? Hi, Cherie. Oh, you can hear me now, Rachel. You can hear the clock ticking in the background. <laughs> wow. See, I've done absolutely nothing different than I do any other time. And then I come on this morning and it's buffering and you can't hear me. I come out and I come back in and you can hear me. How mad is that? I can see that there are six people here, but I can only see Rachel and Cherie speaking to me. Um, before before I start, just so that you don't have to hang, hang around if you don't want to, I'm not doing anything scan and cut. This video today or this live stream today is um, stamping up related. Hi Maria, you can hear me now. Oh, brilliant. Okay. So, as I say, it's it's stamping up live stream today. I thought I would try something a bit different because at the end of the day, you know, you all know me for the scan and cut, but I am an independent stamping up demonstrator and I am trying to build, you know, a small business with my stamping up. So, I don't currently work on a Thursday and I've done everything else that I needed to do. So I thought that I would come on with a couple of stamping up projects today. So Cherie's saying, I've been in hospital for a shoulder replacement due to accidents. So glad to be here because I have the set. Oh, Cherie, bless you. I hope you're okay. And the set is lovely. Um, I did post one other, and I can't remember whether it was a video or an Instagram I posted. I made some cards when I first got this kit. Um, and, I, and I did post some cards, but I can't remember if I did a video about it. But anyway, I've got a kind of a slightly different fun fold card to do today and a little treat project. So what's Maria saying? Will you be doing a demo on Scan and Cut on Sunday? No, Maria. When I was on last Sunday, I explained that I'm actually going away this Sunday, which is the 23rd. So there will be no uh, live stream on Sunday. And I've actually also put a blog post out about it about half past eight this morning, explaining that I won't be here. Um, just while I'm on that point, though, a couple of other points, if I can just point out to anybody that is here that normally follows me um card sketch number four which i posted on the first of august is on my blog the deadline for submitting your photographs if you want to take part it is just for fun is the 25th of july which will be while i'm away but if you can make sure you get them in because i will be kind of tuning in and looking at me emails probably at the night time and then when I get back I will collate any photographs and um, I'll do I'll do a post about it then Maria that's fine don't worry and for anybody else that hasn't been around for the last few weeks just to let you all know that I do offer scan and cut classes now one-to-one -one virtual classes online via zoom all the details are under the Scan and Cut Classes tab on my website, applelover53.co.uk. But as I say, today's live stream is going to be Stamping Up related. So let me see what you're all saying. So Diane's saying, I'm here but watching on the big telly. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Maria is saying, get well to Cherie. Yeah, get well, Cherie, bless you. Um, Philip is saying, hi, Ashley, can hear you now. Oh, great. I honestly don't know what was going wrong. It was just buffering, which it never normally does for me. Um, Cherie's saying, thank you, Maria. I only have left hand, but I've been stamping and colouring and getting better at it. Oh, bless you, Cherie. It's awful, isn't it, when you 
you know you have an accident and something knocks you for six anyway so Cherie you said you've got this this set so for anybody that doesn't know this is Pampered Pets by Stampin' Up. It's part of a suite. There's designer series paper as well to go with it. And if you don't know, designer series paper is the name that Stampin' Up give to their double-sided patterned paper. All their pattern papers double-sided and they call it designer series paper or DSP for short. This stamp set is a cling stamp set, which basically means it's red rubber. It's got the inbuilt cushioning already built into it not sure how well you're going to see this as opposed to our photo polymer stamp sets which don't have the inbuilt cushioning but you can see through where you're stamping so just briefly in this set it says always in your heart and then so sorry for your loss but you could easily mask off the so sorry for your loss and use always in your heart on any other of your you know um card or scrapbooking projects it says enjoy, it says I hope your day is, and then it says a real treat. You've got the two cats, you've got some hearts and butterflies, a little mouse, you've got the dog bowl, and then the two images of the dogs. So what I've done for the first project, I've prepared most of it ahead of time, but I have to say I prepared this literally, honestly, about maybe a week, 10 days ago, and put it all in a little cellophane bag in the hope that I'd remember what I was going to do, but it's all fairly basic stuff. If you can hear a noise in the background, I live in a village and there's a train line beyond me down in the village and I've got the door open, so you may just hear a train leaving at the moment, but they tend to only come through every couple of hours, so hopefully they'll not disturb us too much. So I've got an envelope ready, which I'm also going to decorate. So I'll tell you what I've got. I've, I've, at least I made some notes a few weeks ago and kept everything together. So I've got a piece of black card, which is four inches wide by five and three quarters. I've got one piece of the designer series paper, which I'll show you in a minute if you've not seen it. Um, I'm going to use this side, the side that's got the real red for the dog bowls and the collars and the bones and that kind of thing and the colours in this from memory are crumb cake real red smoky slate white and I think cinnamon cider which is one of our new colours so this as I say is three and three quarters by five and a half that's going to layer up on top of there I've got a piece of real red this measures eleven and a half by two inches you could you know make these any size you want this is what just what I'm using I've got a piece of white which is five and a half by one and three quarters and that's just going to go inside so that you could just you know write your little greeting in here I've got a piece of designer series paper so what I'm going to do as I said all our papers double-sided so for the big piece I'm using the coloured side and then for this red piece I'm going to use the other side of it which is all in black and white I'm not sure how well you're going to see this but it says things like wag play love bark woof scratch dig chase you know all those kind of things that's going to go on there I've pre-stamped one of the little dogs and I'm just going to colour that in with some blends and I've got another piece of scrap here and I can't remember why maybe I was thinking I might put something on the front but I don't know and then I've got a circle which I've used my stitched what they called hang on I've got them here stitched shape dies these are a set of square circles and ovals and I've cut one of the circles out and then I've just cut a bigger circle on my scan and cut which I'm going to layer up so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp a dog again oh and I've got a little bit of the ribbon which is also from the same suite this is the red and white stitched ribbon and I'm going to use that I've got a piece of scrap paper here and I've forgotten my stamp pad one minute
just going to use Memento Tuxedo Black, which is, you know, what, what we use mostly for stamping up when we're using blends. Um, Philip's saying, love that stamp set from New Zealand, fab. So I'm just going to, I've got the other dog image that's part of the set. I'm just going to stamp up this dog. I only kind of really want the top half of it. And I'm going to stamp it in this bottom corner of the envelope. So it's just like this and then I'm also going to stamp it on the white piece near the bottom again so that there's still a bit of room to write a greeting. Okay, just going to put my lid on the ink because I am a messy stamper if you've watched me and invariably I get covered in ink. Just cleaning off, I've got my Simply Shammy, if anybody, um, you know, uses one of those, I think it's great for stamping. So that's the inside. So I think I'll put that in the red piece already. As I say, most of this shouldn't take that long because I've, you know, pre-done most of it. I'm just going to put a little bit of our new stamping seal and I'm just going to bring this in and hope that you can see me and what's Cherie saying the dog is just bursting with personality I oh, love it absolutely love it as soon as I saw this in the catalogue I knew that I had to get it so I'm just going to put that in there like so I'm going to get my bit with the words on Oops. stick this on the front of here try not to get my head in the camera and just kind of put this as straight as I can as best I can so that's going to go like that it's not I wonder if I can get that off because it's not. See if I can just take it off without ripping it. Because it's not central and it will annoy me. When you're trying to do this without getting your head in a camera. That'll do. So I'll put that one side. So I'm going to do the dog now because I can't remember what colour this is. I think I'm going to do the dog in cinnamon cider because I, I'm sure there's cinnamon cider in this paper, which I will show you in a few minutes. So I'm going to take my cinnamon cider dark and the bullet tip end and I'm just gonna go around the outside of the dog um, in fact I'm going to use the other end because it might be quicker so I'm going to use the brush tip end and just go round him in the dark because a lot of the shading has already been done in the stamp and I think when I made this last time I coloured him in in grey which I'm probably going to do on my next project but for this one I'll try this and see how it looks so I'm just going to colour in now with the this is cinnamon cider light and just blend the colours just quickly this is probably not going to be perfect
I've just seen a comment that says, how does the chamois work? I'll show you, Cherie, it's great. Um, and I'll color his nose in gray, I think, in smoky slate. So there he is. So the chamois cherie basically is a sponge, kind of a dense sponge, and it doesn't come in this case. This is one of our uh, DVD cases, I think they call them, stamping up, sell them in packs. And basically this is the chamois. You wet it, wring it out, and then most people I've seen seem to keep them in these cases, and it keeps it moist. And basically all as you do, when once you've used your stamp you just rub it on it and this will get all grubby and dirty but the stamp comes off lovely and clean i've also got the simply chamois the one that you spray you know with the liquid and then you clean it but this is handy for if you're using um the stamper artist because you know while your stamps are on the stamper artist plate you can actually pick this up take it out wipe your stamp and then you're good to go again and i've i found myself using the chamois more than my simply scrub right so that's my little dog so let's just see so i'm going to put this on here now and again i've cut this a bit shorter than the base so i'm just going to try and position it fairly equal This piece then is going to get stuck on here, so this needs glue on the back. And because I need a little bit of wiggle room, I'm going to use wet glue. And I'm going to try and position this fairly centrally. So I'm just going to bring it towards me a little bit I want it lined up at the top and I want it as straight as I can get it which I'm seem to be struggling with straight this morning isn't it funny do you ever get those days when you can't seem to do anything right so I'm just going to turn that over just give it a rub till it grabs so basically the card will stand because of this bit here so it's not a card you know where you've got a double card it's going to stand i can't use in this if that makes sense uh thanks i need to get one or the other one do you only use water in the chamois yes Have you seen the Simply Scrub, Cherie? Do you know what the other one is? But yeah, with the chamois, you just I just run mine under cold water till the sponge soaks up all the water. You'll see it changes colour, it goes darker. And then I wring it out and then I put it in that case. And in this case, in my drawer, it will stay, you know, dampish for a while. So it's a, it's a good little thing to have. Right, so that's the front of the card. So this now is going to layer up onto this piece like so. So here's me saying that the train only comes through our village every couple of hours and I think three have just gone through in less than five minutes. You know, anyway. Talk about make, make, make a liar of me, tra Mr. Train Service. So that's gonna go on there. So I'm gonna stick the white layer down flat onto this. Uh, no, you've not seen the other one yet. Okay, I'll show it you, just hang on. So let me clear the decks. So this is what's called our Simply Scrub, and this is what we've had for years. And basically, you open it up, and it has 
like little water droplets in the top left hand corner and a sunshine in the top left hand corner of this one. So basically you spray this with a stamping mist, a stamp cleaner, and then once you've sprayed this side, you'd clean your stamp like that and then you dry it on this side. So you always clean on that side and dry on that side. And these come out as well, these black areas, I think they're kind of on a Velcro and you can wash them. And this is what I've used for years and I love it and I still do and I still use it. But when I got my Stamparatus and you're using this and you've got, let me turn this round, and you've got, you know, stamps on your plate here. To get them off then and try and clean them, you've got to try and peel them up without getting your fingers full of ink and then the you, you know, you're messing about with the back of the stamp trying to clean it. So that's, I think, why they brought in the chamois. Because with the chamois, if you've got a stamp stuck on here, you literally just bring your chamois out, wipe it and put it back. So it's a whole lot easier. So that's our cleaners. Right, so back to the card. So this I'm going to layer up. So I'm going to bring in some of our dimensionals and I'm going to use the black ones because this is dark card and I'm just going to stick a couple of these just in the middle because obviously it's only going to be stuck on here so I can't put glue all over here or it'd stick to the whole of the card. The chamois great and obviously the chamois cheaper than the Simply Scrub, you know, and, it, and it's just as good in my opinion and it takes up less space really. Right, so that's going to stick on there. Don't know whether to put it near, I might put it nearer to the top. I'm not, I'm not overly keen on putting things dead central. So I'll put that there. Then I've got my little dog that's going to go on here. I'm just going to bring in another dimensional and put this on the back of my dog. Um, wouldn't have thought of what, Rachel? Sorry, have I missed a comment? And my little dog's going to go on there. And then I, in this suite is this ribbon and I tied a little bow. And I'm going to stick that, I think, just on his collar just with a glue dot I think for this one because I think it will be easier to work with. What's Philip saying? What are the card inside your stamp set called and what size you use? What are the card inside your stamp set called and what size you use? I'm not sure what you mean there but um, Hang on a minute, let me just stick this on his collar and then, so I've just literally kind of squashed up a glue dot on here, I'm not sure how well you're gonna see it. And I'm gonna just pop that on his collar. I'm just gonna tuck it behind where the knot of the bow is. And, um, Oh, I know why I brought that in because I was going to probably put a sentiment on it. So what's Philip saying? What are the cards inside your stamp set called and what size you use? Okay, Philip. So do you mean these bits in here? These were just masks that I made several weeks ago in a YouTube live. Not sure if that's what you mean or are you talking about the project I'm actually making? Hi Susie Chocolate, afternoon Ashley Super Card, love the stamp, can you show what other stamps are in the set please? We'll watch the earlier part on replay, the way you did the card with the strip, oh okay Rachel fine. Okay so Susie just to go back over this, it's Pampered Pets, it's Stamping Up set that I sell in my Stamping Up shop, you get the two dogs, you get two cats, you get the dog bowl, there's a little mouse, butterflies, hearts, and then the greetings say, enjoy, always in your heart, sorry for your loss. I hope your day is a real treat. 
so I think I will just use enjoy so I'll just put enjoy on this little block Stamp this up again with Memento. Where's my scrap paper? Just let me make sure it's stamping okay. And I'm just gonna stamp this on this piece of scrap. And if I don't get it right, I've got a bigger piece. Okay, Philip, so you mean the cutouts inside the stamp set? These were masks I made in a YouTube Live a few weeks ago. So I'll just bring my chamois in again and then literally you just wipe it. That wasn't stuck on there very well. But oh, I know, because that's wet now. Hang on. Oh, good grief. There you go. So you just wipe it and it's clean. Right, where am I going to put this? Just tucked in there, I think. So I'm just going to bear my grotty scissors. Let me get my good scissors. Good morning, Deborah from Baltimore. Hope you well. Um... Should we flag the end? Let's see. Yeah, okay, so. May enjoy's not, not stamp that straight, but I don't suppose it really matters. Just gonna make a little flag in the end of here. And I think I'll just tuck that under there. Probably with a mini dimensional. Is that okay, Robert? You fine with that now, yeah? I can't remember how many weeks ago I did it, but it was a few weeks ago and I was showing how to make the masks with the scan and cut to make stamping a bit easier from memory. I honestly can't remember. So I'm gonna tuck that under there like so. And that's more or less done for card one. Apart from, let me see if I can find my Wink of Stella, which is just a kind of shimmery um, glitter, but not glitter, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the end of his nose, and you're probably not going to be able to see it, but his nose kind of sparkles a little bit. So that's my first card. So that's how it opens up. You write your greeting in there and then that's how it stands. So that's card number one. What do you think? So let me clear some of my mess. And then I've got my matching envelope. Good morning, Susan. Deborah's saying, I love your scan and cut projects. Oh, thank you. Well, you know, I'm still do them. My regular pre-record goes up every Tuesday, um, Deborah, and I normally do a live on a Sunday, but I am also a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so hence me trying to, you know, do a bit more with Stampin' Up! and I thought I would come and do a Stampin' Up! live today right papers let me show you the papers so what i've done i've cut up some of my paper and made myself a kind of like a cheat sheet rather than having to keep getting every piece of paper out every time i've made myself these kind of templates and then basically it shows you the front and the back of each paper. So this is the one I've just used and that's the back. This is the cat one. Let me see if I can zoom you in a bit more to see if you can see a bit clearer. 
So this is the cat one with the, on the back of this one, it's like things like love, purr, meow, that kind of thing. Then there's one here with like little fishes and hearts. This, this one's got all big kind of cats on it. I'll try and bring one in and show you this one. Then there's one that just looks like fur. There's, you know, there's some lovely papers in this set, there really is. So I'm just gonna pop that back in the back of there. And the item number for the papers, if anybody's interested in buying it, no matter you know, where in the world you are, I can only sell to UK, Austria, France, Germany, and Netherlands. But if you're in the US and you're looking for a demonstrator and you want this paper, it's 152489 is the item number. The paper's called Playful Pets and the stamp set is called Pampered Pets. And as I say, it's part of a suite with the ribbon and there's some trinkets which were out of stock when I ordered all mine. Right, my next project is not a card. So that's project number one. So I'm just gonna put that on one side. So my next project is just a little bit of fun, really. Um, again, I've stamped the dog and I'm gonna color this one in gray and I'm going to give him a little red collar you're welcome Susie I saw it on YouTube I think I can't remember who demoed it in fact I've seen it a few times to be honest but um, I just thought I'd give it a try it's something a bit different isn't it I'm just gonna color this one in grey and I'm using Smoky Slate Light for this. I'm just going to colour it quickly. So these are probably not going to be, you know, maybe the most neatest or best projects with me doing them live, but hopefully you would get the idea. What do you want posting on my blog, Philip? Just colour the his little head in. I'm not sure what kind of dog this is, if anybody knows about dogs. It looks like maybe some kind of terrier or something, but I'm not colouring his eye. I'm going to leave his eye, unless I go over it by mistake, but I'm going to try and leave his eye white. There are matching dyes. I actually did cut this with the scan and cut. Um, let me get you in shot, but I've not cut it with the scan and cut today. Um, as I say, it's more about the stamping up products today, really. So what I'm going to do now, we sell these cello bags. Let me just zoom out a little bit. So these are our six by eight inch cellophane bags, and these are actually food safe. So, you know, nearer Christmas, if you wanted to make things and put food in these, they are actually food safe. So I'm going to use one of these. Hi, Patty. It's fine, Patty. I'm doing stamping up this morning. Nothing to do with scan and cut, really. So I've got one of these little cello food bags. And then when I was in our local supermarket a few weeks ago, although I've stopped doing the supermarket now because all the people in mass are freaking me out. So I started doing my food shopping online. I know I'm a wimp before anybody says it. But anyway, um, I found these and we've not got pets, but I just thought these would be a good little project for people. If you've got anybody of your friends, you know, that are 
dog and cat lovers, this set is a great set. So this is for the dog people out there. Looks like a schnauzer. That, yes, actually, you're right. It does now you've said that. I'm going to put some of these little dog, what they call, chew bone. Um, mint flavoured, it says. Ideal for small breeds. So they're just going to go in there and I'm going to make a kind of a, a topper. So I thought what I would use, as I say, not done this, not, not made it, it could all, all go horribly wrong. I'm going to use our stitched nested labels. He's the schnauzer breed of dog, thank you. Still waiting for brother to repair my scan and cut, oh no. Right, so I'm going to use these. So these are stitched. I don't have a lot of dyes. I've only just started buying them. And the reason I've bought these is because they're all stitched. I know we can cut these shapes on our scan and cut. But these are all stitched and they're double stitched. So I'm going to use that one. And... Maybe that one, I'm not sure, or that one. I'm going to get three out anyway, and we'll see. So I've, I've prepared a piece of card. That's about as far as I've got with this. So I'm just going to run this through my... Um, die cut machine. I use a snap machine. Um, if you've got a big shot or something like that. I'm going to position this in the centre because what I might try and do because these leave, leave a stitched edge round the negative space as well I might try and make a card with that in the future so I'm just going to put that sandwich together and I'm just going to run this through my die cutting machine and then I can see if anybody's saying anything are you okay Patty? When I start crafting in my live streams, I set off with a lot of space and I end up in like a, a six inch square. Right, so this is the one I'm going to use for the project. Let me see if I can get, not sure if you're going to see this on black, but there is a stitched edge around it. And on the negative, it leaves a stitched edge as well all around here. So I might keep that and see if I can use that for another project another time so that's the big one and then what I want to do is cut some of the designer series paper so let's see which one to use I might use the one with the stripes on the back, so I just need to find it in here. That's this one. So, let me find my trimmer and just, I'm going to use the stripes. So, I'm just going to cut a piece down. And see which one of these I think I think it's going to be that one actually the smaller one so I'm going to put that on there now the stitches are probably not going to be seen on this stripe paper but I'm not all that bothered really about that it's just I just want a layer of pattern paper Yeah, double stitched. That's that's right. That's that's what it is. Double stitched dies. 
don't, don't know if you'll be able to see it on here, but they are all stitched on the negative as well as on the positive, if that makes sense. So let's put my die cutter back out of the way. I'm just going to, they do do other dies that are double stitch, but off the top of my head, I'm not sure which sets. Um, the other ones that I've got, I'll show you what I've got. So they're called stitched nested labels. And then the other ones I've got are these. These are the stitched shape dies. And these are the ones that you get in a set of 12. So you get four squares, which you can make into rectangles. You get ovals and circles, but these are not double stitched. These are just stitched dies. As I say, I don't have many because I have a scan and cut, but I like the, you know, the shaped ones. So that's why I went for those. Let me just drop those in the back there. And if I ever cut anything and I don't use it, I keep it in the packaging. So let's just pop them back out of the way. So, as I say, I don't know if this is going to work. I've not, I've not made it. It was just something in my head. So what I'm going to do now is... Where's my trimmer? I'm going to see how big this is. So it's just under five. I'm going to, I'm going to score it at two and a half. It's probably not going to be exactly equal, but I'm not bothered. It'll only be marginally out. So I'm just lining this point up with two and a half and I'm just going to use my score blade in my trimmer. And then I'm going to fold it just ever so slightly off but that can be at the back so it doesn't matter as I say I did know that would happen I can't be bothered trying to squint to see what exactly the size was and then this piece because it's designer series paper I'm just going to fold it in half and crease it and my thinking was that that was going to go over there <clears throat> and then what else did I need? Oh, I know, I needed those circles and I've just put them back. Stitched shape dies. So I want the circles. And let me see which one I need, which size. Yeah, I'm going to go with the second size of the four. Just bring my die cutter back in. I wondered why I had a piece of white card. <laughs> so I'm going to put that on there and cut this out. Right, what are you all saying? Um, enjoying a wonderful cool morning in the sunroom. Oh, sounds lovely, Patty. Same here with Scan and Cut. I have a few different stitch dies, but no double stitch. Okay, well, as I say, those stitched nested label dies are definitely double stitched. And I know there are some others, but I honestly can't remember. But these are just the single stitched dies, which I equally, you know, love. Let me move that out of my way. So... This is what I was thinking. I was gonna put the designer series paper on there. I was gonna pop on a little die cut and sit my little dog over it like that. And then this is hopefully going to, this is gonna get closed up and this is all gonna go on here, but I might have to trim this down because I think it's a bit too long so let's do this bit first so 
So I'll use a little bit of wet glue. It's not going to need much. And position that centrally. It was just to break it up really. That's the only reason I'm using the designer series paper. I just thought it would look, you know, better than a, a plain black piece of card. I think we'll pop this one up on dimensionals. I'll just put three on it for now. So what's everybody up to for the rest with the rest of your day? I've um, got some washing in the in the washing machine, so nothing special for me. I'm at home for the day. Hopefully, a quietish, uneventful day. Tomorrow afternoon I'm in work and then on Sunday we go away because Hannah's got a golf competition. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put a little bit of Wink of Stella on his nose again <clears throat> just to give him a bit of a shiny nose. Oh, that don't go on there, does it? That's clever. And then let's see how I'm going to fasten this. I think I'm going to chop this bag down. So just going to bring in my big scissors. As I say, they are big, these bags. I probably could have used a smaller one if we do a smaller one. I can't remember, but this will do. <clears throat> and I know what I forgot to do. I wanted to staple it before I put that on, but it's too late now. So it's just going to have to have a staple all the way through it. I'll see if I can do it. Let's see if we can get this off. What I wanted to do, I wanted to staple the bag through the black before I put the pattern paper on, but obviously we're talking, I forgot. So we'll do it this way. I'm just gonna bring in my stapler and then now this can go back on. I'll just add a little bit of wet glue onto the, onto these just to help it. And that can go over the staple. So if you was giving these as gifts, you know, you'd probably have to rip the packaging apart doing it this way. Let's get rid of all my rubbish. But there's my little dog treat. There you go. Can you see that? So that's my little dog treat. Let me move everything out of the way. And that's the card. So two little ideas made using the pampered pets. What do you think? Let me catch up with what you're saying. Maria's saying, I have the grandchildren today. Oh, lovely, that's nice. Oh, it's night time in New Zealand. Sorry, Philip. I forget. People say where they're from and then it literally, you know, it goes in my head and goes, goes straight out again. I am actually rubbish. Sorry. Um, Rachel is saying housework, then stamping some Christmas flowers. Lovely. Patty H is saying I am finishing up making items for my granddaughter's 13th birthday. Oh, lovely. Um, oh, and then you're saying, lovely idea, so cute, very cute, cool projects. Relaxing outside in the shade is very hot again. Oh, that sounds like a good plan. I might do that, actually, go and sit outside. We've got a balcony on the back of our house. I might um, take my iPad out there and maybe sit under an umbrella in the shade. I'm just going to have a quick drink of my juice. So... I'm just going to put the stamps away because they are clean. And 
then I won't lose them. So that, as I say, is Pampered Pets. And then what I'll do, I'll just, now I've got a little bit more room. Let me just have a bit of a tidy up. Clear some of the stuff off my desk. And then I'll show you the papers. So, you've got the dogs. And obviously with your scan and courts, for anybody that's here that you know has scan and courts, you could cut these out with your scan and courts so you could make your papers go further if you've not got you know blends or watercolour pencils to colour them in. So Susie's saying they are both brilliant, would go lovely today as card and gift. Yeah, definitely. So that's one side and that's the red and white stripe side that I've used in the little dog treat. Then this was the one I used on the card and that's the other side with all the words on it as you can see I've been chopping into these and using them as I say I did I did use them on some card projects I think they might have been cards that went out to my customers this is the cat version so with all the cats on I think he looks like he's got an attitude he definitely is you know I'm I'm the boss isn't he him and this has got the little fish and the hearts and the little polka dots on the back. I, I find with stamping up, if you don't like one side, generally the other side is nice. So, you know, I might not necessarily use all this card, but I would probably use this side. Having said that, with this negative space that I did before, I'm thinking I might try and make something with some of these i'm not sure yet so that's another one and i can't remember if you get two or three of, of each of these then this is another design again all cats this is cinnamon cider black white um what color i'll tell you what it's black basic black cinnamon cider early espresso flirty flamingo real red soft suede and whisper white that's the colorway so that's the cats, that's got the kind of like bits of fur or hair. This one's nice with the paw prints and the hearts. And that's got the big dogs on the back. That's the stripes again. And then this is the cat version of the one I used for this card here. So this is the dog version with the bowls and the paw prints. And this is the cat version of it with like fish and feathers and more bowls. And then on the back, that's got words. So it's a nice set. Um, you know, it's a nice set of paper. Quite versatile. And if you love cats and dogs, then, you know, you're on to a winner. I mean, I do. We've not, we've not got any pets, but I do. I love dogs. Um, I love all animals, really, to be fair. If I had to choose I would probably go for a dog but that's you know just just my personal preference and then that's my little cheat sheet that I keep in the back of all my designer series paper so I know at a glance what's in it so there are my two projects so Rachel's saying great card have to go have a nice day yet yeah, same to you Rachel Susan is saying thank you for the great demo love the paper yeah me too these would be good to cut with the scan and cut definitely the papers would be especially these big animals Susan you'd be able to do some lovely fussy cutting with those and cut them out it would make your papers go further and as I say if you don't have any of our blends or anything like that to color with then they're already colored in in the paper for you so definitely they'd be perfect um, I plan to cut out all the feature animal sheets with Scan and Cut. 
have to teach hubby how to load it <laughs> yeah definitely yeah just cut them out like you say and use them you could put them on cards you could put them on scrapbook papers you could make you know projects like this i mean i've just put dog bones in here just because they were you know hung up in an aisle while i was going around the supermarket a few months ago they've been in my drawer for ages but Equally, you could put chocolates in here, you could put cookies in here and give them to, you know, your friends who are animal animal lovers. They don't have to be animal treats that go in the bags because, as I say, these cello bags that Stampin' Up! sell are food safe. So you could just put cakes or cookies or anything in them, chocolate, anything at all. So I'm glad you like those projects. Um, as I say, this is a, a new thing for me, doing stamping up live streams but i think it's something that i will try again i might maybe try and do it on a thursday if i can keep stamping up for thursday and keep my scanning cuts for sunday but i'm not committing to doing them every week because you know sometimes it just gets a bit too much and i certainly won't be doing one next thursday because i'm away with hannah at her golf competition Anyway, that, that was my project. So if any of you have got any questions or anything that you want me to show you, if you let me know before I go. And um, if not, I'll say thank you for spending some time with me, just clearing up my rubbish while I'm uh, speaking to you. Philip's saying, I'm gonna go to bed Good night from New Zealand. Good night, Philip. Have a nice night's sleep. I'm just going to have a quick drink of my juice. Oh, thank you, Cherie. <laughs> That's lovely of you. I'm keeping everything crossed for her. Don't know how she'll do. It's a very big, uh, it's a big competition. There's a lot of, lot of girls playing. So, but you know, she'll try her best. Susie's saying sounds like a good plan but no it takes up a lot of your time so we are grateful for whatever you do oh you're welcome thank you well as I say Sundays I'm going to try and stick to scan and cuts because you know they seem to be going well on a Sunday night apart from this coming Sunday because I won't be here and then I might just try and throw in a Thursday you know stamping up um, and see how this goes because I need to let more people know out there that I do do stamping up as well. And I do try and combine. I mean, when I do my, my scan and cuts on a Sunday, invariably, if I'm cutting card, it's probably, you know, stamping up card or designer series paper. But so, you know, they do kind of cross over. Um, but I'd like to, if I can, maybe just concentrate a little bit more on stamping up. And that's why I'm thinking I might just try and do that as a separate live stream if you like but it's lovely to know that you're all still here with me anyway whether you're here for scan and cut or stamping up patty you're welcome nice that you were able to be here patty was it you that won the quilting cards have they arrived yet Susie's saying, sending good luck wishes to Hannah. Have a lovely breakaway. Oh, thank you. She's looking forward to it. She really is. I'm just so pleased for her. She played in a comp last Friday and she tied first, which was amazing. It was kind of like a pro event, but she played as an amateur. And she played in an amateur, an all-girls amateur Um I think there were six girls. They're all like very low handicappers like Hannah is. And she tied first. So that was nice for her last week. Patty's saying you do a great job combining the two. Thank you. Well, you know, if I need to cut things out with my scan and cut, like I say, invariably I use stamping up product. But I would just kind of like to concentrate on stamping up in other ways. So maybe you know just having a stamping up thursday or something might might be a way to go i've tried facebook but i don't i don't like facebook that much i'd rather stick with youtube i know it and you know it's my channel and so yeah 
Um, what you're saying, Patty? Um, yes, not arrived yet. Okay. Well, I did send them and I got proof of posting, but I think as I said to you at the time, the postage is just ridiculous at the moment. Um, I don't know if you remember, but some time ago I offered some cards on one of the scan and cut Sundays and I drew some names. It was, it's a good while ago and I sent them all out and lots of people got them, but one lady didn't literally get them for like about six weeks. It's, it's madness. But anyway, they've gone in the post. Yes, thank you, Susie. Yeah, it was. She did brilliantly. Yeah, she tied first. My, my Hannah plays off a three handicap. She's nearly two. But the other girls that were in the comp were e equally as good as Hannah or lower. And the girl that she tied first with was um, a plus one handicapper. So it, it was really nice. And then she played as an amateur in a pro event a couple of months ago. The same pro event, but at a, a different course. And out of 15 lady professionals Hannah came fifth so that was nice so she's doing really well bless her and it's what she wants to do so I'm trying to support her as much as possible um, Patty's saying hubby just left to play golf he is on senior league I'm terrible at it well I used to play Patty a long long time ago before Hannah was born but Hannah is far better than I ever was and I just love walking around watching her play so I watch every single one that she plays and I've only missed one and that was the one she tied first in last Friday um my car broke down on the Thursday afternoon after she'd left to go for a practice round and I was meant to drive down on the Friday and um a belt broke on my car and I, on my car and I had to fortunately right literally right outside my local garage it, it was it was spooky how it happened so I literally drove in and he said if I can get it fixed I'll get it back to you today but he couldn't get the part until the Friday so I missed the comp and as it was over in Leeds and we live in Derbyshire there was no way that I could get there so I missed I missed a tying first but that's the only one I've ever missed so your other half plays golf as well, fab. Well, Hannah's, like I say, Hannah's nearly two. I think she's a 2.7, something like that. Um, but it's what she wants to do professionally. And she works as an assistant in a, at a golf club about half an hour away from here. And I work in a different golf club. It's uh, quite funny, really. We both have the same job, but at different golf clubs. But she's a golfer. So she's a full-time amateur at the moment, working and saving hard so that she can turn professional in a few years. So that's a little bit about me and my Hannah that you may, not, may or may not have known <laughs> on this Thursday morning. But it's a great game, it's lovely and I just love walking round. Uh, Cherie's saying, what is the weight of the Stamping Up card? I have paper and love the quality. The card from memory I think, oh no, I do know but I can't remember, I'll try and, what I'll do, when I go off here, I'll take some photographs of these projects and I'll do a blog post and I'll try and remember to put, I think the Whisper White Thick is about 220 and the regular colours, so like the black and the red that I've used here. I honestly can't remember. They might be about 200. I've, I have got a note somewhere, so I'll try and post it in the blog post. But don't you think the envelope looks nice as well with a little bit of decoration on? So, you know, when you write your address, you've got a little bit of decoration there and then it gives a little bit of a clue as to what's inside. Okay, so she is doing fabulous, Susie. I'm so proud. I really am. Yeah, she's done amazing considering she's not played that long.
Okay, so any other questions or anything you want to ask? Before I go, I'm just going to put these stamping blocks away, have a little bit of a, a tidy up. It definitely does, doesn't it? If I got that envelope in on my doorstep with a load of others, that would be the first one I, I would open. And, you know, you could also put some of the designer series paper on the flap. I've done that sometimes, you know, decorated the flap with the paper. And it, I think it just, you know, makes it look a little bit different, doesn't it? And again, when you open the card, you've got the little dog in the corner, you know, as well. So the inside's kind of decorated as well as the outside. Okay, well, I can't see any more questions or comments or anything, so I think I'll say thank you for your time this Thursday morning. And hopefully I will speak to you all after I get back from our trip away. So take care, everybody, and thank you for being here. And spending some time with me I will take some pictures of this now and I'll go and do a blog post so if you give me you know about an hour or so um, I'll put this this video will stay on YouTube and then I'll I'll just do an accompanying blog post with it thank you take, take care everybody yeah everybody else have a lovely day and the rest of your week and weekend too and I'll speak to you all next week thanks a lot bye